What do you want for Christmas? Let me know in the comments below. Greetings and welcome back to another fun and exciting episode of the podcast. I am your host as always, Jason Oliveira, and with us today is the Cookie Dough Twix. I heard this was coming out. Not a huge Twix fan. I mean, as far as candy bars go, I remember when it came out uh, sometime in the 80s here. It's right over here. That's, that's when it came out. Uh, and I remember trying it and being like, yeah, this is a pretty good candy bar. I like the caramel. I like the chocolate combination. The cookie in there makes it a little different than the other candies that were available to me at the time. But it's never been, like, the best cookie in there. Like, the chocolate and the caramel are good, but the cookie has never been, meh, you know what I mean? Nothing to write home about. So maybe the cookie dough will improve things. We're going to find out today on the vodcast. All right, let's have a first smell. <clears throat> wow, that's weird. I, I smell chocolate, but oddly enough, I feel like I smell raspberry. Mm hmm? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely, 100%. I don't know why. It's coming off of the chocolate. It's definitely not coming off of the plastic or anything. That's weird. All right. Let's take a little cross section of this and take a look. I can't. Re My eyes are getting so bad. You guys take a look for me. How does it look? Describe it to me in great detail. Um, wait a minute. Cookie dough. Looks more like cookies and cream. But uh, uh, what the hell? Let's give it a whirl. We're here, you know? Now confused. The original Twix was just the cookie, the caramel with chocolate around it. Or was there something else up top? Was it just cookie, cookie? I can't tell what's going on here. Like it's good. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad by any stretch of the imagination. It tastes like cookie dough, but there's still cookie there. Shouldn't it be caramel and chocolate and cookie dough? Not not cookie. I'm gonna try this little end piece here and. I'll get back to you in a minute. Hmm. Um. Maybe a little bit better than a Twix? Let's say I'm giving a Twix a seven. A regular Twix, I would, in my mind, the way I remember the Twix tasting, I would give it a seven. It's not my favorite candy bar, but it's it's good. Above average. I'd give this like a 7.5. It adds a little bit something to it that I appreciate. I like it a little bit better. Does it need to be there for me to be, you know... It obviously didn't do enough to bump it up to an 8, is my point. I've got a story I want to leave you with. Um, just to prove that we are all human. Even me. I know, I know. I know it's hard to believe. But I am human. Flesh and blood. It's true. Um, hashtag it's true. I was at the store today at Kroger in Forest looking for a few things, some for my wife, some for myself. I know that this store is the only store in all of Virginia that I know of, or the ones that I've been to, that currently carry funny bones, which are my weakness. That I love funny bones. They're just so good. <clears throat> so if anybody's going to know where I can find them, it's going to be me. So I went up to this rep and they said, oh, I'm sorry, I don't work here. Let me bring you over, blah, 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 blah. Started talking to this woman. She said, oh, what do you, which uh, hostess product are you looking for? I was like, actually, I'm looking for Drake products. She's like, oh, <laughs> we don't carry those. I'm like, yeah, you do. <laughs> and she's like, well, I know nothing about them. I'm like, yeah, this is the only place in town that I can get them. She's like, no, we don't have them here. I'm like, okay. So. The inner vodcasty in me wanted to just let it go and just be like, okay. I fucking marched around that store until I found every hostess product. I put it in a fucking basket and I went back and uh, she was gone. And the guy was there that was standing next to her. And I said, hey, if anybody's looking for these, they're over on 13 and 14. Like, I didn't want to be a dick, but like I was being a dick. And that was a dick move of me. And I'm glad she wasn't there when I got back. This season brings out the good and the bad in people. So I just want everybody to remember that, that like I preach a good game, you know, but um, I am mortal just like you. Or am I?
And if you love immortality like I love immortality, then you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were yesterday, tomorrow, something like that. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Ooh, yeah. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves for they are the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliver, and this is the podcast. I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Take care, everybody. <laughs>